Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up and transfer data from your old iPhone over to your new Samsung Galaxy S21 series. So first, we're going to press on the side button, press and hold to power up your device. So we're just going to wait for it to put up. Once you are at the welcome screen, tap on the start button. Now, while you're here, you might as well choose your language and tap on OK. Then tap on the start button. Then tap on next. Next, we need to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Now I'm going to choose my Wi-Fi network and we need to put in the Wi-Fi password. Next, tap on the connect button. And it's saying now it's checking for the internet, the quality of the internet connection. Now I say internet may not be available. This is because I'm sitting far away from the Wi-Fi router. Now the connection will should come back uh, shortly. So I'm going to choose keep Wi-Fi connection and tap on next. Now I say connecting. So we'll do a few things. We're we'll probably trying to check on the server. Uh, it might also um, uh, try to uh, just, uh, to check the device hardware uh, from the server. So we're just going to wait for a few minutes. Okay, on the next screen, we we'll say copy apps and data. Tap on next. Then tap on next. And here it will attempt to download the smart switch software so that it can transfer data from the old iPhone to your new uh, Samsung Galaxy S21 uh, series. Now, uh, in order for you to transfer uh, the data over, make sure that you have your phone uh, power uh, charge up uh, on both devices, the Galaxy S21 and your iPhone. And also make sure you get a uh, lightning cable or the, that USB cable that come along with your iPhone so that you can plug it into your Galaxy S21 and your old iPhone. But right now, we're just going to wait for the smart switch to uh, complete the download. Okay, next, we need to select a source. So I'm going to choose iPhone or iPad and then tap on Agreed. Next, you can see here, so we need to connect the cable. So I'm going to plug this in, the USB-C type into the Galaxy S21 series. And then you want to connect that end to your iPhone. This is an iPhone uh, 12 Pro. And I'm just gonna unlock it as well with my face ID. And then you can see here it say, uh, check your phone, tap on trust. So on my iPhone here, tap on the trust button. And we need to put in the device uh, passcode. And over here, we need to tap on the next button. And we say swipe up to see more. So now you want to go down the list here and select uh, the things that you want to uh, copy over. Now for messages, you can tap on the right arrow and it will expand. And in here you can see you can choose uh, to transfer messages from the last 30 days or transfer everything over. So uh, just make sure that you go into each one of this and make sure that you check for all the options. As you can see here, by default, it's choose last 30, day, 30 days only. So you might want to transfer everything over instead of just 30 days. And then for apps, just tap on the right arrows, go in here, and in here it says sign into Google account, sign into your Google account to download Android versions of your iOS apps and get recommended apps when there's uh, no exact match. So you can uh, sign to your Google account now if you wanted to. And next, data from iPhone apps. So in here, you can select uh, what kind of data you want to bring over. So yours might be different to mine because uh, of the apps that you install on your iPhone. So here you can select or deselect what you want to bring over and tap on done. 
Next, we can go down to settings. In settings, there's not much. It will bring over the Wi-Fi network settings, Bluetooth settings, and keyboard settings. And then you've got home screen. Tap on the right arrow to see what is available. So it can bring over apps and shortcuts, lock screen wallpaper, and home screen wallpaper. Then you've got images, uh, videos. You can uh, select or deselect them if you wanted to. Now for the demonstration purposes of this video, I'm just going to deselect images and videos just to make the transfer process a little bit faster. Now after that, we can tap on the transfer button. So select what you want to transfer over and tap on transfer. And say I need to sign into my Google account and that's fine. We can uh, sign in. So tap on the sign in button. So put in your Gmail account and tap on the next button. Okay, so now it's signing in and we will need to put in the password. Now, now after that, we can tap on I agreed. Then tap on accept. So this process here, we check to see what is available on Google Play Store that has the same matching with um, uh, what is available on the iPhone App Store. If there is a, a matching app, it will try to install. If there isn't, then you will need to install them manually. So here you can choose the install button. You can select what to install and what not. So that is totally up to you. And then uh, you can simply tap on the install button. I'm just going to remove uh, some of them. Uh, just to make this process uh, a bit faster. So I'm just going to say select uh, one app and then tap on install. And here I say get connected. Just a sec, accounts added, then tap on next. And then you need to go down and tap on accept. And here you need to put in a screen uh, passcode or the lock screen passcode. And here you can choose face recognition, fingerprint, pattern, pin or password. I'm going to choose pin. Then put in your pin. You can also tap on confirm pin without tapping OK and tap on continued. We need to put in the pin again to confirm. And we're just going to wait. Okay, now we're going to tap on next. Now go down and review all of these options. See what you want to include and what not to include. And then once you are happy, tap on the OK button. Yeah, so getting your phone ready. Okay, on the next screen, it say, um, do you want to sign into the Samsung account? Now you can continue with Google, or you can uh, sign in with a uh, Samsung account, or you can simply skip altogether. I'm going to choose skip for now. We can always go into settings to sign to your Samsung account. So say so skip out on all of this. Uh, Samsung Cloud, uh, Bixby, Galaxy Themes, Pharma Mobile. Uh, doesn't mean you, if you skip for now, it doesn't mean you're going to miss out all of them. You can always go into settings later and then sign in. So just want to skip for now. And how do you want to get around? Use swipe gestures or show buttons on the screen. So this is for your navigation bar down here. Um, if you like the swipe gestures, you can choose that. Otherwise you can use uh, buttons. I like buttons, so I choose button and tap on next. And say organize your phone, home and app screen, 
or home screen only so you can choose how you want to have your apps uh, display or organize on your device select one of the options and tap on next and you are all set up tap on the finish button to complete and that's it now uh, before you can start the phone still need to reorganize a few things it says search for a new mobile plan just cancel for now if you want to go ahead you can tap on search I'm going to cancel now if I swipe down at the top you can see it's trying to do a few things here it's finishing up uh, setting finish setting up your Galaxy S21 Ultra completing setting up from the Google Play Store and it's still trying to transfer data from the old device so you can see here backing up iPhone data um, downloading manager is now um, trying to finish off Google Play and that's it then here you got the SIM card manager it tells you you have a SIM card in here it's a, a physical SIM at the top and then there is also an eSIMS if you want to set up an eSIM you can tap on add mobile plan otherwise just tap on the done button to finish off and that's it now you are at the home screen of your Galaxy S21 uh, in my case it's the S21 uh, Ultra and we can swipe up to go into your apps uh, screen so in here are all the apps that is available for you to use there is also a play store which is like the app store you can go in here and start to search for apps and then you got the camera which is supposed to be uh, the best camera uh, in the market right now uh, for the Galaxy S21 Ultra with 8K video so if I go into video you can see if I tap on this one here I can record in 8K so you can record in 8K video uh, Ultra HD which is 4K video with uh, 60 fps 4k video with 30 fps and that is the camera for you and then you got the internet browser if you tap on that it will start to download the internet browser and you've got the default uh, google text messaging uh, program right there for you and that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos